Hello, Jaguars. It's time to think of courses you want to take for next year. You will be given your course cards to fill out for next year's elective choices, and there's a lot of information. If you would like to view it again, it will be on the SSMS School website. Your parents may have some questions as well. If they do, go online and show them this video and read the course description. There are six periods in our schedule, English Language Arts, Math, Science, Social Studies, and two elective periods. So students, some of you are interested in leadership or advanced art class. If you are interested in one or both of these courses, you must fill out an online application. You can find the QR code online application on the cafeteria walls, your science teacher's walls, elective teacher's walls, student services office, and the hub walls. You can use your iPad in your science teacher's classroom or use your cell phone in the various locations I mentioned to access the online application through the QR code. Now, let's review some specific sections of the course card. You will have six periods of classes, one period for language arts, one period for math, one period for science, one period for social studies, and two periods of electives. All students are required to take PE unless you have a PE waiver. Look at the very right front of your course card where it says PE waiver. Your parents must complete this PE waiver section to obtain a PE waiver. If you want to take two elective year-long classes or sign up for semester electives other than PE, your parents must sign a PE waiver. To select an elective class for next year, look on the left side of the front of your course card. Place an X on the elective choices from the following combinations, two year-long electives, or one year-long and two semester electives, or four semester electives. Remember to select one alternate elective class by writing number one next to the elective alternate class. You will notice at the bottom middle of your course card, there is a course card legend. Asterisk means teachers will recommend students with a score of level three or above on state exam in reading, math, and science, and have C's or above in all classes. If a class has HON at the end of a course, this is an honors class. Teachers will recommend students for these classes with state exam scores of level four or above in reading, math, and science. If a course has an ACCEL, this is an accelerated class. Teachers will recommend students for these classes with state exam of level four or higher in reading, math, and science. Students must have taken prerequisite classes for honors and accelerated courses and have Bs or higher in all classes. Paw print means teachers will recommend students by reviewing state exam reading scores of level three or above and students earned grades B or higher in all classes. Online application is required and prerequisite classes were taken. HS means this is a high school class. Your grades will go on high school transcript and calculated in your high school GPA. Teachers will recommend students who have level four or higher in reading, math, and science. Students must have all Bs or higher in all classes and prerequisite courses must have been completed. Look at the bottom right of your course card. You can scan these QR codes to obtain course description or ask questions about next year's electives. As you are looking at your course card and choosing your elective, please remember due to class availability and other limitations, we cannot guarantee all your elective choices will be scheduled. Let's look on the back of your course card on the upper left corner. This area is asking you to select the academic level of core classes based on your current courses you are in this year, as well as your grades you've earned this year. Your placement will also be based on your state exam level performance in reading, math, and science. If you have any questions, please reach out to your school counselor. Seven Springs Middle School Center for Gifted Studies is for the west side of Pasco County Middle Schools. 
The Seven Springs Middle School Center for Gifted Studies is designed to meet the academic and social emotional needs of identified gifted students who have an active educational plan. Students in the Center for Gifted Studies will be placed in core academic classes comprised of other gifted identified learners, where they will receive daily differentiated instruction according to the unique goals and services of their educational plan. If you have an active gifted educational plan, we hope to see you in our Center for Gifted Studies program. Seven Springs Middle School Orchestra is the West Side Orchestra program for Pasco County Middle Schools. Our band, orchestra, and chorus are among the finest of any middle school in the Tampa Bay area. Seven Springs Middle School has the largest banded orchestra in Pasco County Middle Schools. We hope to see you in one of our music programs. Remember to sign and have your parents sign the course card. We need your signature and your parents' signature to process your course card. The following slides are year-long course elective options. Two D Studio Art One is a year-long class that further explores two D media such as drawing and painting. In order to be eligible for this course, you must have taken visual arts in sixth grade with a grade of A or B, applied online with a course card, and received teacher approval. These images you are seeing now on this slide are examples of student work in this class. I hope you apply for my course. Seven Springs Middle School has the largest band in Pasco County Middle Schools. We have over 250 students in our band program. Over 50% of all county band consists of Seven Springs Middle School students. Students learn to play instruments, various types of instruments like saxophone, French horn, clarinet, flute, trumpet, and much more. Students in our band program performs in school and community events. If you want to get involved in school and interested in going to college, band is a perfect program because colleges are always looking for band students who are talented to give away scholarships. Please know band one is a prerequisite to band two, steel drums, and percussion. Band two is a prerequisite to band three. We hope you sign up for our excellent band classes that is the best in the county and finest in Tampa Bay area. Chorus two and three. Chorus two and three at Seven Springs Middle School is the Advanced Choir. This group is a mix of seventh and eighth grade students new to chorus, as well as students who have been in previous choir classes. You will develop more advanced vocal technique as well as sight reading skills. Seven Springs Middle School Advanced Chorus performs throughout the community year round. These performances showcase the songs learned throughout the course of the year. We perform at events such as Pack a Sack, Pack the Park in downtown Newport Ritchie, collaborations with Mitchell High School, winter and spring concerts, and more. If you enjoy singing and want to be a part of a close community of friends, come join Chorus. Seven Springs Middle School has the best steel drums in Pasco County Middle Schools. Steel drums is an advanced elite band class. Students play in various community functions such as Chasco Fiesta, elementary school events, district events, and school events. This course requires band teacher recommendation, music experience, and have taken band one with the grade of an A. Instrument Tech One is a percussion drums class. Students learn to play various percussion instruments and perform in community and school events. This course leads to Mitchell High School percussion class. Instrument Tech One is an advanced band class. Students must have taken band one with the grade of an A and have music experience. This class requires a band teacher recommendation. Leadership Skills Development Class. This is a high school course taught by me, Mr. Nichols, here at Seven Springs Middle School. Students learn leadership skills, parliamentary procedure, organizational theories and management, problem solving, decision making, communication skills, group dynamics, time and stress management, public speaking, human relations, public relations, team building, and other group processes. This course actually 
requires teacher recommendation and an online application. The course is for high school credit. Please speak to your parents, teachers, and guidance counselor before applying for this class. You must maintain an A or B average for the entire year. This is a full year course and will go towards your grades when entering high school next year or during your freshman year. We do lots of activities around the school and leadership. Perhaps you've seen the students that are um, workers in the office, uh, picking up attendance, going around showing new students the school, as well as putting on fundraisers decorating the office for special events and participating in our Seven Springs community. If you decide to apply for this course, we expect you to have good behavior. And since you'll be walking around the school and doing other activities, it is extremely important that you respect others and have the mindset with no referrals while here at school. Seven Springs Middle School Orchestra Program is the West Side Program for Pasco County Schools. It is the largest orchestra program in Pasco County Schools with over 70 students. Students play violin, viola, cello, bass, and various string instruments while learning music and making friends. We hope to see you in our orchestra. Hola. This is Professora Agueda. I am very excited to welcome you to Spanish One. In Spanish One, you are going to learn the four skills of a language. Learning, vocabulary, and grammar will help you to span your writing, listening, speaking, pronunciation, and reading comprehension skills. Since Spanish One is a high school credit class and a college admission, expectations in class are very high to be successful. You will also be exposed to the culture of the countries where Spanish is spoken, its music, art, and custom. You will have a lot of fun at the same time as you learn. I can wait to see you in class. Hasta pronto! The following slides are your semester elective course options. Mr. Arriaga here. Coding Fundamentals is a semester course. Uh, this course aims to teach students that are interested in coding by uh, introducing them to three different coding languages, HTML, JavaScript, and Python. This is a hands-on course, so you would be coding. This is text coding uh, on software, but also you will be uh, introduced to coding hardware. Um, if you're interested, sign up for this class. Hello, and thank you for your interest in computer applications in Business One. This is a class for seventh graders, and it's a basic computer class and an introduction to computers. In this class, we'll learn about different parts of the computer, how we use them, how we research on the computer, and other things that we might need to know, such as specific tools like Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft PowerPoint. After we learn these tools, we will make sure that we reinforce them and put them into practice by doing projects around each one. Thank you so much. Hello, Jaguars. As you consider which elective classes to sign up for for your next school year, we'd like you to consider taking physical education. If you like exercise, if you like getting out of a desk and being social and active and improving your health, and putting down that cell phone, then PE is the class for you. It doesn't matter what type of exercise you enjoy, we offer a variety of sports and games that you will enjoy with your friends. PE is fun. Please, if you want to have a healthy life, consider signing up for physical education class. Hi all, grab that pen and paper or laptop and let's get started. This class is the fun side of writing. With the semester, you will get a chance to explore writing short stories like mysteries, suspense, relationships, and horror. You will also write poetry books, children's books, comic strips, and storyboards for commercials. It's in this class where you will find your voice, get creative, and delve into your imagination and write for others to read. So come and join the journey of creative writing. 
Hey there, everybody. This is Mr. Morgan. I am the teacher of exploring 2D art. 2D art would be two-dimensional art. That is all art that is flat. Drawings, paintings, collage, all sorts of fun stuff. If you're considering taking an art class, and maybe you've never taken one before, this is an exploratory course, which means you do not need to come in as an advanced artist or even a beginning artist. You just need to come in ready to learn, excited to make some art, and we will teach you everything you need to know. You will learn the knowledge, the skills to develop yourself as an artist, and hopefully develop a long, lifelong love of art. Mr. Ariaga here um, to talk to you about exploration of robotics technology. This is a semester course. Uh, it aims to give you a, a sense of what it's like uh, to have a career in robotics. Uh, we will do some building of robots. We will be doing coding robots. We will be designing robots. Um, and we will be learning lots and lots about technology. In exploring music performance, students develop basic music theory skills by learning how to read and perform a variety of music on the guitar. Students will learn about music from a variety of cultures and demonstrate mastery of the songs through group performance and individual performance on the guitar. If you want to learn the guitar while becoming a young musician, please join Exploring Music Performance. Intro to AV Arts introduces 7th and 8th grade students to the Adobe platform, allowing students to utilize applications like Photoshop and Premiere Rush. And using these applications, students will learn digital designs and creations, along with photo and video editing. You will learn about different career paths aligning with these topics, along with the opportunity to advance your skills in a technology-based environment. Are you someone with a big heart? Would you like to learn how to make a difference in someone's life? Then peer counseling is for you. You will learn basic knowledge and skills in communication and conflict resolution. Hope to see you in peer counseling class. Students will work on their reading fluency and endurance through integrated experience in the language arts. This course incorporates reading and analysis of literary and informational selections to develop critical and close reading skills. That concludes our video. We know this is a lot of information, so you can review this video on our school website by clicking Academic Information, then click your current grade level and select Course Description Overview Video.